Support for this episode is provided by Acme Tools. You can support my channel by making your next tool purchase at my Acme Tools store. I'll have a link in the description below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to build this garden toolbox, and I'm calling this one a scrap wood project because I'm going to build it with a few cutoffs that have been hanging around the shop. For the handle, I'm using a piece of white oak. I'll get rid of this knot and cut it to size. Next, I'll set the fence at an inch and a half and square the board up. Once I have the handle pretty close using the lathe tools, I'll remove the tool rest and use a wide sanding block with 60 grit paper. I'm using an inexpensive set of calipers to make sure the ends of the handle are the same width as the inch and an eighth Fossner bit. I'll use the table saw to rip the boards a little bit heavy, cleaning up one side, and then I'll rip all three boards at six and a quarter inches. For the sides of the box, I'm using red oak. This board comes from a mistake I made on a project a few years back. It looks like I cut the mortise in the wrong place. I think the transition between the end piece and the side is a little severe at the three quarters of an inch. If I notch the end a quarter of an inch, that will make that transition a half of an inch between the end and the side. And to soften it up even a little more, I could add a chamfer on the outside edge. I'm excited to announce another Maker's Mob Challenge. Neil Paskin from Pask Makes kicks off this free six week scrap wood challenge where he'll show you step by step how to build the same woodworking project he released on his YouTube channel. Then followed by Frank Howarth from Frank Makes and other makers like Jimmy DeResta, John Heise, The Samurai Carpenter and myself. Check out the free six week scrap wood challenge by clicking on the link in the description below and I'll see you inside the Maker's Mob. A good thing to do when making this cut is draw a stop mark on the table saw insert and only cut to that mark. Next I'll finish the cut on the bandsaw. 
Now that I've taken a quarter of an inch off of each side of the toolbox ends, I'll need to take a measurement and cut the bottom of the box at that size. Now I'm ready to drill the hole for the handle. I'll measure down an inch and a quarter and find the center, which is three and an eighth. To drill the hole, I'm using an inch and an eighth Fossner bit. A few three quarter inch holes in the bottom of the box will provide drainage. And I'll use the router to add a slight chamfer to the sides. I'm building the box with inch and five eighths stainless steel finish screws. I'll countersink holes for the screws at a quarter of an inch and pre-drill the holes at 3.30 seconds. To assemble the box, I'll attach the ends and the handle using Type On 3 wood glue. Once the ends are clamped, I can add the sides. To fill the screw holes, I'll use a quarter inch walnut dowel. I should mention that I ended up bringing the handle back to the lathe to create about a 1 8 indentation in the center to form a better hand grip. Instead of using wood glue to hold the plugs in place, I'm using Starbond thick CA glue and hitting it with a little activator for a quick dry time. The next step is to trim the handle with a straight bit in the router. For a little insurance, I'll add a quarter inch walnut dowel to lock in the handle. Now I can trim all the plugs, give the box a good sanding, and it will be ready for finish.
The finish that I'm using on this project is Waterlocks Marine Finish. Okay, well this one was definitely a fun project and one that will be used. I gave it to my wife for Mother's Day and she's already had it out in the garden and put it to work. And the idea here is this is not to be handled gently. This is, this is another tool really. And tools will be thrown in here and taken out. It may get left out in the rain from time to time and it's built to last. So one day if my daughter becomes a gardener, she can use it. Or if she doesn't become a gardener, she can always put it in her house and have it as a decoration. So definitely a fun project, one to put on the list. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Before you start your next project, click on the link in the description below for my professional woodworking plans and follow me on Instagram to see what I'm working on today. You can support my channel by making your next tool purchase at my Acme Tool Store. I'll have a link in the description below.